because like I said, the entrant, he's on our black rope right now. Even if he was a contractor or somebody went in, we don't have this mechanical advantage is there for everybody that's down in there. We could put it to the side, but right now we want to pull him up. Remember, who's the first one that comes up? Probably the last one that went down, correct? Because we don't know if they're in a tunnel. We don't want to pull the first guy over the top. Not, it's not always, okay, but probably. So we're, what we did is we got a bite here with the Gibbs, and as we haul up, I start pulling him up. See how I'm pulling him up here? I'm lifting, hauling his rope. I can only go so far with this mechanical advantage. I could use the winch system like uh, the public works and all, uh, private industry uses. I ran out of room to haul him. Now what I gotta do is, this white is a safety, here's his regular line, I gotta rebite it. So you can see at the top here, Mike has got this nice and tight, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna switch the load from this mechanical advantage to his black line. The way I do that is I gotta take pressure off that, flat, that brake by hauling it. Mike pulled on the, on the, the rope grab the brake. And what I did is I lowered him down a little bit. Grab this rope. I, I, I did it a little bit to where now the weight is on this black line. See that? Now all I got to do is get another bite. Now it's nice to it, it, do that all the way This is non-entry rescue. The more of a bite I can grab, the better. If I could put, take a pole or something to push it down, better. So now I'm going to keep hauling. You can let go. As I'm hauling, Mike's keeping up with that slack. Okay, so now I can do it again. Okay, so I'll do a short hole, a hold on black, do the short hole like this. Okay, now I just released it. Mike's holding it again, and I just grab it again. And a lot of times, what you can do too is right now we're only going as high or as far as Dan can reach. But if you got a pipe pole or something, you can send this Gibbs down as far as you can. Okay, hold on black. And push it all the way down. Hold on black, another pipe. Where he takes a selfie. See how I'm not even dealing with the brake? <laughs> I let go of it, it's already grabbing it. Okay? He's not going anywhere. He's got As we're seat. getting them higher and higher, let go of the side. As I'm getting them higher and higher, I can get a spin them if I need to. Tight on black, hold on black. Now, there's another bite. <laughs> the safety line is getting caught up. It's giving slack on the safety line. Keep grabbing it. It seems like it takes a long time, but in reality, another guy may still be on the phone with the rescue team trying to get them there. <clears throat> now at this point, see all of his knots? Pull tight on black, Mike. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release really that guy to that. And instead of trying to get another bite on nothing, all I'm gonna do now, is take this mechanical advantage and clip it right into his harness with all the other stuff. All the safety is going to be in the way. How high do I go with it? How high can I go? About right there, right? Do I need him to go high? No, but what I can do if I'm by myself, spin him around, Grab him and tilt the whole tripod. I could lay him down with the tripod and deal with him, okay? You can go ahead and step out. You grab the tripod first. Okay. Alright. He's cut it, Scott. 